Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will continue our series with regard to the circles. So last time, meron tayong mga videos with regard to the different parts of circle and the theorems about the circle. And it's in continuation ng discussion natin about the different theorems involving circles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the inscribed angle theorem. Guys, um, this topic is very easy na maintindihan as long as uh, mag-rest mag niyo yun, yung concept about inscribed angle theorem. Now let us have the inscribed angle theorem. It says here, the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So ngayon, meron tayo dito mga terminologies. We have the inscribed, inscribed angle and the intercepted arc. So we are given here circle O. We have circle O in which, sorry, nasan po dyan yung ating inscribed angle and the intercepted arc. So the inscribed angle here is angle A, B, C. Yung vertex ng ating inscribed angle A, B, C is yung ating point B. And the endpoints of angle A, B, C are A and C. And sir, how about the intercepted arc? Your intercepted arc, arc here is arc A, C. So as you can see, yung arc A, C natin, yung letters na ginamit natin, natin dito, are the same with the endpoints of your inscribed angle. Again, this is your inscribed angle A, B, C, and your intercepted arc is A, C. Now, here's the formula on how to use the inscribed angle theorem. Sabi dito kasi, di ba, the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So we have the formula, inscribed angle is equal to one half times the intercepted arc. So using your angle A, B, C and arc A, C, we can create a formula na nakabase dito. We have angle ABC is equal to one half of your arc AC. So, ito yung mismong concept ng formula natin. Sir, what if you go pa yung given letters? Walang problema dyan as long as you can easily identify yung, yung inscribed angle as well as your intercepted arc. Walang problema sa paggamit ng formula. Now, for you to understand well what is meant by the inscribed theorem and yung formula na meron tayo dito, let's have these examples. I have here four different examples. Sabi dito, find the measure of the inscribed angle. Pero, uh, hinaluwa ko na rin ito, papahanap ko na rin sa inyo yung measurement ng intercepted arc pati ng inscribed angle. In number one, we have here this one. We have angle ABC as your inscribed angle and your intercepted arc here is letter C sa lahat ng given natin. Now, ang meron tayo itong value is your intercepted arc. Your arc AC is equal to 110 degrees. So, paano natin gagamitin yung formula natin? So, to use that formula, you need to write angle ABC is equal to 1 half of arc AC. In which, since yung ating AC ay given, ay yung arc AC natin is given, we can substitute the value of your AC to AC in the given formula. So we can have angle ABC is equal to 1 half times your AC which is 110 degrees. And to simplify this, all you need to do is to multiply 1 half by 110 and your angle ABC is simply 55 degrees. So, mapansin nyo, ganang, ibig sabihin ng theorem natin, yung measurement ng ating inscribed angle, which is ABC, is half the measure of your intercepted arc, which is AC, ng measurement ay 110. So, if this is 110, your answer here is 55 degrees. Now, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, another given here, eto, we are given the intercepted arc, Ah, sorry, the inscribed angle, ABC, 
your angle ABC measures 109 degrees. So, paano po yan? Kanina, yung item number 1 natin, uh, pinapahana pa yung inscribed angle. So, possible din na ito, guys. Ito yung converse ito. So, ang gagawin natin dito, use this formula. We have angle ABC is equal to 1 half R AC. Ang gagawin natin ngayon, we will replace angle ABC by 109 degrees is equal to 1 half times R AC. Now, what you will do here is you will multiply the whole equation by 2 to eliminate this 1 half, multiply it by 2 by 2, and then 2 times 109, this will give you the answer of 218 degrees. And, mawawala itong 1 half, and what will remain here sa right side ng ating equation is simply arc AC. Ibig sabihin guys, if the measure of your intercepted arc ABC is 109, Ah, sorry, if the measure of your inscribed angle ABC is 109, your intercepted arc is 218 degrees. Medyo congested yung space dito. Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, uh, you can pause the video if you want to answer item number 3. Dito ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung ating inscribed angle. We are given the measure of your intercepted arc AC which is equal to 68 degrees. Okay? Pwede nyo try ito, guys. You can pause the video. Okay, let's continue. Given this, given this formula, you have angle ABC is equal to 1 half your arc AC. So we will replace AC by 68, so it will become angle ABC is equal to 1 half times your 68 degrees intercepted arc. And multiplying 1 half by 68, this will give you the answer or the measure of angle ABC be equal to 34 degrees. So ibig sabihin yun guys, if your intercepted arc is 68, ibig sabihin yan, your inscribed angle here is 34 degrees. Ganun niya sa so, simple guys. Now, for item number 4, okay, for item number 4, we are given this circle, and yung ating angle dito is A, B, and C. Sir, wala po tayong given measurement. Now, remember guys, kapag meron kayong angle and meron kayong symbol of box, ibig sabihin yun guys, the angle here is a right angle. And the measurement of a right angle based on definition is exactly 90 degrees. Okay? So, dito guys, kaya kung kaya gumamit ng formula, kaya na siyang mental calculation. Diba? Isipin mo na lang. Um, kapag hinahanap mo si inscribed angle, you will simply divide its intercepted arc by 2. Kasi half lang naman eh. And if you are given an inscribed, an inscribed angle, and you are asked to find the intercepted arc, you will multiply the measurement of your inscribed angle to get the value of your intercepted arc. At yun ang gagawin natin dito. Without the formula, if your inscribed angle is 90, sabi kalahati lang daw siya ng intercepted arc, simply multiply it by 2 at makukuha mo na yung value ng inyong intercepted arc, which is 2 times 90 that is equivalent to 180 degrees. And this is the answer, guys. Yun na. Ganun lang siya ang guys, about intercepted arc. So, I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin with regard to the inscribed angle theorem at kung paano siya kunin. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin ba button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!